Right, Yaron, do you have any thoughts of what regulation by government of Facebook will look like? No, I mean, regulation of Facebook is a very, very scary phenomena. And, you know, technology generally has, has managed to escape regulation uh, and, and to, to avoid too much regulation. And now we've seen the tech companies ask to be regulated. And once that genie is out of the whatever uh, lamp, um, I don't know if that's a good metaphor, but anyway, once the regulations start, there's no end to them. There's no end to them. And the danger here is what part of, of, of the business is going to be regulated. The worst thing is if the issue of, of speech is regulated, what cannot and cannot be published on Facebook. If the government gets into that, then the government now gets into the issue of free speech. Now the government is potentially censoring. That is the worst case scenario. Um, Privacy laws, I mean, yeah, the government should pass privacy laws, but the privacy laws should be, I think Amy has a good, Amy Peacock has a good description of what those privacy laws should be like. They should be pretty uh, broad and they shouldn't be unique to Facebook. They should be general. And yeah, at the end of the day, they shouldn't be like the European privacy laws. We should basically enforce the idea that you own your property and, and your information is your property and you can give it away uh, and the government shouldn't have these, you know, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, uh, monstrous uh, privacy regulations like the Europeans have now. I don't, I don't know what else. Uh, I, you know, I think that anything the government does, particularly given the government that we have, even in a rational world, you would say, yes, you need to define what privacy is and, and the, the government should write some laws relating to privacy. Maybe that's true. But given the government we have today, Anything they write is going to be a disastrous. Anything they write today is going to infringe on the property rights and the freedoms both of Facebook and its users. And it's going to be an unmitigated disaster. So I would be, you know, um, you know, I, I, I would be against any form of regulation. Any form of regulation is going to be, is going to be horrific. It's going to be horrific because it'll have consequences not just on Facebook, but on all tech companies. It'll introduce regulations into Silicon Valley in a way that they've never been before. And it'll suppress innovation. It'll suppress new companies coming about. It will suppress real progress. It, it, it will be a disaster to our, our progress, uh, you know, our future success and our lives the value we get from this technology is unbelievable. It's so immense. Right. So, you know, one of the beauties of Silicon Valley has been the relative freedom to innovate and for the atlases to manifest, for productive geniuses to do their thing. And we all benefit from that massively. Any kind of regulations of that will reduce that innovation, will, will reduce the ability of those giants to produce. Some of them will go overseas, some of them will produce just at a lower rate, but it would just be, it'll just be useless. Somebody says, unless it's a law that brings Alex, Alex Jones, I mean, that would be horrific. Again, that the government gets to be in a position to decide who comes back and who doesn't, who goes on and who doesn't, all of that you know, would be, would be truly uh, a, a, a step in a very bad direction in terms of free speech, uh, long term in terms of free speech. All right, let me...